Have you ever gazed at the stars and wondered if we are alone in this vast universe? This question, seemingly simple, has perplexed mankind for centuries. It's a thought that taps into the very core of our existence, reaching into the abyss of the unknown. Consider for a moment the sheer scale of our universe, it's so vast that it makes our planet seem like a speck of dust in the grand cosmic scheme of things. With billions of galaxies, each home to billions of stars, the probability of life existing somewhere else seems more likely than not. Throughout history, we've cast messages into the cosmos, like cosmic bottles tossed into the ocean of outer space. We've sent radio signals, spacecraft, and even a golden record aboard Voyager, all in the hopes of making contact. Yet despite our best efforts, we still have no solid evidence of extraterrestrial life. But why is that? This brings us to what scientists call the Fermi Paradox. Named after the Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi, this paradox is a contradiction that has puzzled scientists for decades. Enrico Fermi, a Nobel laureate, was one of the leading scientists of the 20th century. He made significant contributions to the development of quantum theory, nuclear and particle physics, and statistical mechanics. But one day during a casual conversation with his colleagues over lunch, Fermi posed an unexpected question, where is everybody? This simple question later evolved into what we now know as the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox, in its barest form, is a question about the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of evidence or contact with such civilizations. It's a question that digs deep into our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Think of it this way. Our galaxy alone, the Milky Way, is home to around 200 billion stars. Many of these stars, like our own sun, likely have planets orbiting them. If only a small fraction of these planets harbor life, and an even smaller fraction developed intelligent life, there should still be a considerable number of civilizations out there. When you consider that the universe contains billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars, the number of potentially life-harboring planets is staggeringly high. Yet, despite our best efforts we've found no evidence of extraterrestrial life. No signals, no spacecraft, no signs whatsoever that we're not alone in this vast universe. This stark contrast between the high probability of life and our failure to find any evidence of it is the crux of the Fermi paradox. So we are faced with a paradox. If the universe is teeming with life, where is everybody? One possible answer to the Fermi paradox is the concept of the Great Filter. Imagine a vast cosmic obstacle course filled with challenges that every civilization must face as they travel the road to becoming an advanced, spacefaring society. This is the essence of the Great Filter Theory. It's like a sieve that separates the cosmic wheat from the chaff, allowing only the most resilient civilizations to pass through. Now what forms could this Great Filter take? It could be anything from a self-inflicted nuclear apocalypse to an unavoidable cosmic event like a gamma ray burst, it's a barrier that's so difficult to overcome, it could explain why we haven't met any extraterrestrial civilizations yet, they might have simply not survived their own great filter. This leads us to a chilling question. Where in this cosmic obstacle course are we? Have we already overcome our great filter, or is it still lurking ahead of us? If we're behind it, that's relatively good news. It would mean that we've managed to dodge a major cosmic bullet, and our chances of survival as a species are fairly high. On the flip side, if the Great Filter still lies ahead, that's cause for concern. It would mean that there's a major challenge we have yet to face, a hurdle that could potentially wipe us out. This could be anything from a global pandemic to a catastrophic climate change event. So, as we gaze out into the vast expanse of the cosmos, we're left pondering our place in the universe. The Great Filter theory is a stark reminder of the fragility and preciousness of life. It underscores the importance of cherishing our planet and preserving our species. Could it be that we have already passed the Great Filter, or is it ominously waiting in our future? As we continue our cosmic journey, let's hope that we've already cleared our biggest hurdles and that our future holds promise, not peril. The Great Filter is just one possible solution to the Fermi Paradox, there are many other theories. Let's dive into the cosmic pool of ideas starting with the Zoo Hypothesis. This theory suggests we're living in a sort of cosmic zoo, watched over by advanced civilizations. They are aware of us but purposely avoid direct contact, much like zookeepers with animals. It's a fascinating idea, isn't it? Imagine being a part of an intergalactic wildlife sanctuary. Next up we have the Rare Earth Hypothesis. This theory proposes that the conditions necessary for intelligent life 
are incredibly rare in the universe. It's not just about being in the right place at the right time, but also having the right combination of factors like the correct star type, the right kind of planet, and the appropriate atmospheric ingredients. This hypothesis suggests that we're not just lucky, but extraordinarily privileged to exist. Moving on, there's an intriguing theory that speculates about civilizations living in a post-biological universe. This theory proposes that advanced civilizations might have transcended their biological form and exist in a state that's beyond our current comprehension. They could be living as digital entities in vast computer networks or even as beings of pure energy. So even if they're out there, we might not recognize them as life at all. Lastly, let's consider the transcension hypothesis. This proposes that an advanced civilization inevitably leaves our universe perhaps for the singularity of a black hole. If this is true then the reason we haven't detected any extraterrestrial civilizations might be because they're not in our universe anymore. These are just a few of the many theories that attempt to explain the Fermi paradox. Each one opens a door to a new perspective on our place in the universe. It's a testament to the limitless potential of the human imagination. Each of these theories offers a unique answer to Fermi's perplexing question. The Fermi paradox continues to puzzle scientists and stargazers alike. As we wrap up our journey of cosmic curiosity, let's revisit the intriguing question at the heart of it all. The Fermi paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, asks a simple yet profound question, where is everybody? In a universe teeming with billions of stars and potentially habitable planets, the conspicuous silence from the cosmos is truly baffling. We explored the concept of the Great Filter, a hypothetical barrier that prevents civilizations from colonizing the universe. This theory suggests that somewhere in the evolutionary timeline of life, there's a hurdle so daunting that it wipes out civilizations before they can reach the stars. Some speculate that humanity has already passed this filter, while others fear that it lies ominously in our future. We also delved into other theories that attempt to solve this cosmic conundrum. The zoo hypothesis, for instance, proposes that extraterrestrial life exists, but chooses not to contact us, observing us much like we would observe animals in a zoo. The transcension hypothesis, on the other hand, suggests that advanced civilizations might transcend our reality, disappearing from the observable universe. The Fermi paradox is more than just a philosophical musing, it has profound implications for our understanding of life in the universe. It forces us to confront the possibility of our solitude in the cosmos. It challenges us to question our assumptions about the nature of life and civilization, and it compels us to push the boundaries of our scientific understanding. Yet the paradox is not a verdict on the existence of extraterrestrial life. It's a testament to our ever-burning curiosity, our insatiable desire to explore the unknown. As we continue to gaze at the stars, to send probes beyond our solar system, and to listen for signals from distant worlds, we remain hopeful, because the universe is vast and our search has only just begun. The Fermi paradox compels us to wonder in this vast universe filled with countless stars and planets why we have yet to find evidence of extraterrestrial life.